Afterlife. Uh, we watched like like the first series to and we're like oh, this is fucking shit. Some um, there's a, a a drug addict guy who is addicted, I think, to drugs. And like um, he he buys drugs in a brown paper bag. Remember me saying that before? He he bought like drugs. Like somebody arrives at the door and he's like at Ricky Gervais, he's one of the fucking characters who says he's like, Oh who are you? I was just getting drugs. Nobody who gets drugs calls them drugs? I don't think. And in a brown paper fucking bag? Like it's like um some eighties fucking film set in New York and it's a you know a guy with a bottle of fucking whiskey in a brown paper fucking bag? Is that not the point? No, I think it's shite. Heroin would be better. A brown paper bag? What fucking drug dealer gives it drugs in brown paper fucking bags? Like, it's it's legal as long as you sort of cover it with a brown paper bag. You know, it sort of gets her in the kind of law. You know, like to drink in public. But if you cover it in a brown paper bag, you see... It's just fucking mental. And it's just so shite, and you keep seeing we like flashbacks and videos that he's watching. He's um, uh, his uh, dead wife, because that's kind of what it's about. And she's always smiling, and they've always had such a good time, and she's always smiling, and she's always such a laugh, and always had such a fucking laugh, and always had such a fucking laugh, and she's always smiling, and she's always like, Oh, you gave me a fright there with that water! Oh, you! Again and again and again and again. And I can't even remember what happened to the second series if I even fucking finished watching it. But we watched the beginning of the, the third series for a laugh to, to, to hate it. And uh, and he's so miserable again because he's like, it's that Ashley, is Ashley Jensen? It's mad fucking shit and... And like, see when they're in the office that he works, the way it's all lit, it's this pure studio look, you know, everything's all sort of, you know, nice backlight, you know, it's all perfectly lit. It's all kind of fake looking. And I like a kind of studio look, I like a kind of fake sort of look in a way. But it just gives it, for me, it gives it this pure, scripted, tight, almost done by a fucking machine thing, and that's what the whole thing that whole series feels like that, I felt that way just watching bits of Derek it's like he's went, what did, what kind of fucking pig swill did the masses like I see the office see the first series of the office, I fucking loved it and if I watched it again, I would love it again I loved it but I just thought it was so fucking shit. And he's sitting with her. It's like, right, so he sits with her, talking to the, you know, next to the graves, and then the wee kind of philosophical fucking chat about death. He goes in his wee, meets people, and, you know, he's a kind of journalist for some sort of local paper, and he's got like almost a wee catchphrase, like, take a photo or something like that, you know, like that. It's pure fucking shit. And it's 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 incredible because I'm like, has Stephen Merchant done anything outside uh, the office that's any any decent? Is Ricky Gervais I, I didn't like extras in particular. I liked I liked some celeb bits. Hello, ladies, outlaws. Right, I've not seen it. I've not seen it, right? But any of that. But see, honestly, the first series of the fucking office, I just thought, this is so well observed. So, just tiny wee bits. I'm like, that's fucking magic. I've not seen anything like that ever or for ages at the time, which is, what, what was that, 2000 or something? Fucking loved it. Loved it. Um, And then... 
oh, he's got a new thing out called Extras. And I started watching it and I was like, doesn't he feel, doesn't he feel as good? Doesn't he feel as good? And then like, I've watched a bit of fucking Derek. And I was like, is this a fucking wind up? Is this a wind up? Is he just gone like that? Let's see what shite that, what, watch this, watch this. Is, is it a private joke? Has he, has he got like a kind of wee inner circle of um, people that he says, I'm going to watch this. I'm going to give them the sort of shite that these fucking idiots lap up. Watch. It's like a fucking experiment. And then Afterlife, it's just the same bastard and fucking thing with every bastard and fucking episode. It's, I'm like, is this the same cunt who fucking wrote The Office? Albeit with Steve Merchant. Is it? I don't, I don't get it. It's weird. And the, and the, and the, the way that he fucking shoehorns, I'm an atheist, right? But the way he fucking shoehorns atheism um, into like three or four separate things he's been in, like in, in extras, he kind of goes, he goes, uh, he says to somebody, I know, but the, the burden of proof is on you. He says to some religious person or something, I know, but the burden of proof is on you. I'm like, am I hearing the burden of proof is on you in a fucking, in a, in a sitcom? Am I hearing atheist sort of... Like, that's fucking mad. That's meant to be, you know, like a, 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 a giggle. Mr. Chamfer thinks the tuna bits. It's an experiment like that. Girl band put together as a joke with some no way, no way. Was that a joke? Moral Snot thinks the sub. Thank you very much. That sort of leaves Chun up. Chun thinks the tuna bits. Shite CGI, what's meant to be a sentimental moment. Swimming in the lake. See the swimming in the lake thing? See that, let, let me show you this. That's, they're all saying it is not CGI. They're saying it was actually filmed on a phone and it's just the kind of lighting. Hold well on. Afterlife Lake. Swimming. Bastard. I wish I, I wish it was just there. Honestly, she's swimming and she's sort of like looking up like that. Because she's sort of got a head up above water like that. I think it's because she's directly looking like that. Something to do with the light on it. Um, makes it look CGI. It was fucking mad. You just missed it. I don't think I did. I don't think I did. You just missed it. Callum T. Russell. Callum T. Russell well Down. Which one? One, two, three. Keep going. Let's go past that one. One, two, three, four. It's genuinely there. All right, Callum. Which one is it? Because I didn't scroll past this, I don't think. Which one is it? There. Which one, Callum? A uh, woman. Oh, that with well, this here, I. Is this it here? This hydrotherapy thing that's absolutely nothing to do with. Is that is it there?
Callum, this, is, that, is that it there? Uh, Calm says, is that is that it? No, ha ha, sorry, ban me. There you go. I, I'm not just looking for anybody in water. I'm not looking for any woman swimming in water. It's a specific one from the program I'm talking about. Old redhead, Mr. Chamfer, thinks he subs and bits. I uh, thanks again. Thanks again. Just pure shit. Oh, was this? Right, thank you very much. I look at that. I agree to all this. That's a nice wee advert. Support us. No, I'll just watch your adverts. It, honestly, it is this. See this? See, Afterlife, it is this. Constantly. He walks about, same clays on all the fucking time. Horns in his jacket pockets. This kind of moping about, you know, this sort of thing. That, that, this is like, this could be first series, second series, the new third series, it could be any one of them. He's walking about like this all the fucking time, man. And then, oh, and then there's a wee happy moment and we get a wee smile at him. Oh, he's getting healed. He's getting healed. Is that about grief? I know, but for fuck's sake. Three fucking series in, man. You hear that music? You hear that? No empathy, you fucking stupid bastard who said that. No for Prime, no empathy. Fucking three series in, it's a lot of shit. This is not fucking real. Listen to that music. That's right, the music tells him how to feel. Listen to that fucking music. This is Ricky's music choice for this moment. Oh, you be back like there, look, be back like. Look at that! <laughs> Look at that! He's 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 thinking back by the way. <laughs> it's fucking horrific. She is like forget about I mean this plastered on smile. Apparently, what he said is it is not CGI. They haven't just taken her face and put it on somebody who's swimming. It was just, it was filmed on a phone and that was honestly the lighting on her face. That's just the lighting on her face. It's just, she's looking up. She's just looking up this. That's what it said. Uh, I'll register for free. No, I don't want to. It said um, it isn't he? So that's, I mean, look how fucking. She is like that. She is like that. And these flashbacks and uh, videos that he's got throughout the whole bastard and fucking series, just constantly smiling, just an absolute joy. They had such a great fucking time. It's so fucking shite. It's the same thing every fucking episode. 
It's just like a like a spreadsheet. It's like he's got a spreadsheet, and he's like. Flashback with her, with with them having a good time, with her laughing, maybe dancing, maybe him doing a wee a wee joke, a wee practical joke or something, that kind of thing, that goes there. Current relationship sort of thing here, but it's, it's a wee bit, it's a wee bit ropey. Heartfelt sort of thing. Somebody has been a bit an asshole or a bit, you know, a bit a, a, a bit uh, annoying has actually got a bit more depth to them than what you think. You thought they were just sort of like um, superficially sort of cheery, but in fact it hides a, a sort of, there's a sort of sadness under the, you know, um, sort of tip of the iceberg, sort of, a sort of sadness under the under the surface. It's like fucking, like a spreadsheet like that, that goes there, 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 that goes there. Emotional song goes there, emotional song goes there, emotional song goes there. There we go. There's the beginning. That's your, that's your episode there. Copy, paste, change the character names, change the situation. That goes in there, that goes in there, that goes in there, that goes in there, that goes in there. That goes in there, that goes in there, that goes like that. It's almost like fucking like a template, like, you know, we're doing donkey work where you're like a spreadsheet or something, you're like, like that. Show has a structure. Johnny, you're not getting it. I'm not talking about a structure. I'm talking about it's the same fucking thing over and over. But um I, I just don't I don't I don't know if he's just went like that. I, I I'm just like he surely is the co-writer of the office. Surely Disney think this is good. Surely. Surely he doesn't think this is good. Honestly, there's, there's some comedians and, and writers and people who are in stuff that they themselves write that I have in the past wondered, do they themselves even fucking like this? Is this their own style of comedy or is this just shite they've put out because that's what the fucking, they think that's what cunts like? Honestly. Paul, thanks for subs. Maybe you're just jealous and amazing bond a couple in Afterlife had. I don't think there is a couple on the fucking planet that are like the couple in Afterlife. I have never heard it. I've never heard it anywhere. Constantly like this. <laughs> oh, 